Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Marceline from Adventure Time. Let's get started at the very top of our page with the front edge of the hair bang. So starting at the very top, we're going to start with a point. Now from this point I'm going to curve down and out towards the left. Now let's go back up to the top. Now I'm going to curve out a little bit further towards the right. Come down and then out. From here, we're gonna draw on the bottom part of the head. Starting on the left, I'm gonna curve down and then in, leaving a gap in the center. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm gonna round out the side of the neck coming out towards the shoulder. So let's start on the left side. I'm just gonna blend into a curve coming back out. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the face. So we're going to draw two dots for the eyes, starting on the left, draw in a circle, and we'll fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right, just beside the hair bang, we'll fill that in black. Now right below here, we're going to draw a curve from left to right for the mouth. We're going to add two fangs on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a V, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's go back down and draw on the side of the body. So from the shoulder, I'm going to curve down and out towards the left down and out towards the right. We're gonna round out the chest and then pull that in towards the side of the body. Coming in. Now in between, we're gonna draw a curve to the bottom edge of the chest. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the collar. From the left side, I'm gonna scoop down and then back up on the right. From the bottom edge of the chest, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down towards the hips. Now let's connect these two points with a curve. I want to add a little bit of blood splatter along the neck. So we're going to draw a small circle on the right side and one just below it. Let's continue working down with the legs. From the waist, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now let's draw on the inside of the leg. In the center, we're going to leave a gap. We're going to curve out on the left side and then down towards the heel. Step over towards the right, curve out, and then down towards the right heel. Let's add in the heel of the boot. Starting from the left, we're gonna curve in and then back out. So just rounding out the heel. Now we curve this back up. Now from here, we're gonna curve down towards the toe, come down and out towards the left, and then the right. Let's go back up to the hip, draw the side of the leg, and then curve down towards the tip of the foot. So on the left side, I'm just gonna follow that same curve of the leg, coming down. Now right at the end, we're gonna curve this out towards the tip of the toe. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by coming down, and at the end, we'll just curve it out towards the toe. Now we're gonna move up and draw the edge of the boot. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve in and down, and curve up and out. Now over on the left, I'm gonna have the arm hanging down on the side of the body. So on the side of the chest here, we're gonna curve out and then down towards the fingertips. We're gonna draw th three fingers. We're gonna round this out and pull this up. At the bottom of this finger, we're gonna come down again and then up. Now the third finger, we're gonna go all the way back up towards the top of the shoulder. Now on the right side, I'm gonna have the arm on the hip. So we start from the shoulder, we're gonna curve out, then down towards the elbow. I'm just gonna round out the elbow and pull this back in towards the hip. Let's add the fingers folded over. So from here, we're gonna step up, curve out, round out the finger, and then pull that back in. We'll draw two more fingers. Starting from the tip, we'll just curve around and in. And then the third finger, we're gonna go all the way in towards the side of the hip. Now let's draw the inside of the arm. Step up straight across towards the elbow. We're gonna round out the inside of the elbow and curve over in behind the body. Now let's draw on the side of the hair. From this point, we're gonna step up, start with a point, and curve over towards the left, going up, and then down towards the bottom on the left. We're gonna curl this out in the opposite direction. Going up to a point. Now I'm gonna taper that back in with a short curve. Now I'm gonna add two little bumps. Going out, then in. 
do that one more time. Coming out, then in. Now I'm gonna work my way around the side of the hand. Go out, and then down. I'm gonna taper that back up to create a point. I'm gonna pull this in behind the leg, curving inwards. Let's go back to the top and draw on the right side of the hair. Starting from the center, we're gonna go up, around, and I'm gonna pull this in behind the right arm. We're gonna continue down, come out, and we're gonna taper that back in with a short curve. Now I'm gonna pull this back in towards the side of the leg. Coming around, and then in towards the same height. In between, you're gonna see a little bit of the hair. I'm gonna come in and up. Draw three little curves. Come down, up, come down again, and then in towards the right side of the leg. Let's go back up and add some highlights to the hair. Starting from this point, I'm gonna curl around and then in. I'm gonna taper that back up, and then in behind the head. Let's add a large glare on the side here. Starting from the top of the head, curve down, and then out. Now I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction, coming down. Now I'm gonna pull this up towards the side of the hair bang, curving up and in. Now I'm gonna step down and just trace this along the outside. I'm gonna fall this up towards the top. Now right here, I'm gonna finish off this curve, going around and then up towards the side of the head. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Marceline from Adventure Time. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.